to ready and go. Well, there was quite a bit to read in that question there. That's going to take up most of the time, I would think. Essentially, what it's saying is this. Given the example of a triangle, if you were to reflect that triangle in each of its three sides, so that reflecting it here would give you this, reflecting it here would give you this, and reflecting the triangle in this third side would give you this, so that the resulting shape made from these four congruent triangles, this tiling, has got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Then it asks about a quadrilateral. So this quadrilateral then, what would happen to it? Well, it should end up with 12 sides. Reflecting the shape in each side means the other three form on the opposite side. And there's four such reflections. Four threes are 12, just like here. The other two appear on the other side of the three sides. Three twos are six altogether. So this one, could end up like that, with its 12 sides. So what's the minimum number, the question is? What's the minimum number of sides you could get for an appropriate type of quadrilateral? If you start with a square, for instance, you can end up with 12. Well, what about the simpler case? What's the minimum number of sides you'd have had for a triangle? Well, the minimum number of sides would involve trying to get these to merge in some way. If you could straighten that off, it would just become one side. Now, since they're reflections, that means that this angle reflects to there, this angle reflects to there, they've all to be the same. So to straighten that edge out, you'd want these angles to be 60 degrees each. If that was a 60 degree corner, they would straighten off. If that was a 60 degree corner, they'd straighten off. If that was a 60 degree corner, they'd straighten off. Something else could happen if they went the opposite way. That's what I'm going to use here. So if you made the three angles all 60 degrees, you would have this. You'd have an equilateral triangle and the sides would all reflect into straight lines. So they'd all be 60s, in which case the minimum side number of sides is three. At that point, you could probably think here, oh, well, that's just going to turn out to be four then and just go for four because you've already spent so much time reading the question and thinking through that part. However, you could do the same to this. How could I minimise the number of sides? Well, 60 seems, if you could make one of the corners 60, they'd straighten off. But you can't make all 460 because you've got to have 360 degrees altogether. So you could make two of them 60. That would certainly straighten off some edges. Another thing would be this. Another way to make these lines cut down a number from 2 to 1 would actually be you could actually cut them down from 2 to 0. Instead of going for 60, if you took a corner, because remember these three angles would be the same, and made this bigger, so that these two sides join together. That means that the three angles at that point would have to be 120 degrees. So this line reflected in that becomes this one, and this one reflected in that becomes the same one. If the two lines were the same length as well as about 120 degrees, they would disappear because they'd merge. So the plan's going to be make two of the angles 60 and 220 and having the ones 120 all the same length. Well, that would be this then. Those three sides would have to be the same length with 120 at each of the corners. The bottom then would have the remaining 60s, and that's all fine because it adds up to 360. And what you've got there then, if those sides are the same, are three equilateral triangles joined together. So this shape should give you the minimum then. So first of all, reflect it up the way. Then a bit more confusing, maybe it's this trapezium here. That side reflected in here would fit in quite nicely this way. This reflected here would do the same thing. There's that trapezium again. And then this one reflected below completes that little hexagon. Not drawn very well. And there you go. One, two, three, four. Four sides. So that's A. But you may well have just have guessed at four once you realise that that could be a three, probably a third. I've spent enough time, that just looks like a four.